hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about permission callback in our custom endpoint so in our previous video i showed you how to create a custom endpoint and now we will going to continue on working on that custom endpoint so if you are new to this video i would suggest to start the video from the first uh, in the ap in this playlist so that you know what we are doing right now in the in this video and if you know what you are doing then just keep continuing watching this video otherwise i will provide all the links uh, which you will need to know before continue on this video so yeah from permission callback so what is the permission callback so um, in our previous video uh, we created this custom um, custom rest api for the wordpress uh, which fetch the acf book based on the meta key and meta value provided in the um, parameters and we can uh, request this data without any <coughs> any restriction so when you want to put a restriction on api then the permission callback will be useful for that uh, so permission callback is nothing but to whom you want to give a permission to run the api um, if the user don't have um, sorry doesn't have the permission to run the api then they will have an error if they try to run the api so let me uh, show you by running the code so that you know what i'm talking about so for that um, in the register rest, rest root function we have to pass the another parameter called permission callback in our previous video we used these two um, parameters so i'm gonna add the new parameter into the array called permission callback and this is the callback so i'm gonna add this callback at the end of the file so in this callback either you have to return true or false true is the by default function um, value uh, if we don't add any permission callback it consider as a true that means everyone has permission but in this case let's say we want to uh, we want user to run this api if the user is logged in otherwise uh, don't allow uh, ex, uh, run the api so in this function we will simply check if is user locked in so if user is locked in return true otherwise return false so now this api is restricted to logged in user only if user is not logged in uh, this api is not going to run so let's try to run this api again and as you can see it is uh, giving us an error rest forbidden and sorry you are not allowed to do that because you are not logged in so how do we consider user is logged in into the rest api so i have already created a separate video for that and uh, i think you should look into that first and then come back again otherwise uh, just keep going 
here so in authorization i will go, i'm going to use the bearer token <clears throat> and i have already added the token over here so token is used to um, identify uh, in the rest api that user is locked in or not so now we have specified the better token over here and now let's try to run the api again and now we are getting the api response so <coughs> as we have added authorization to the api by which we can consider user is locked in and user is logged in then we are returning true that means execution will be continue and if we don't put any authorization that means user is not logged in and if we try to send it and you will not able to execute the api and uh, yeah how do we create this um, um, bearer token so i have already created a dedicated video on that so this is just an example similarly you might want to add your own permission functionality based on your requirement this is just to give an idea how the permission callback works so this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys